Hi, this is Garrett from TechBytes.com. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to be talking about another RSS reader called Wiz RSS. It's an add-on for Firefox. So for those of you that have been kind of uncomfortable with using Google Reader or Bloglines or another online reader or one that's detached from your browser, today we're going to be talking about one that is very convenient. It sits right in your browser, literally in the sidebar. So you can get started by heading over to Mozilla.com. and clicking the add-ons button just like we would normally get an add-on for Firefox once you're there just type whiz into the search engine hit enter and it'll be the first thing that comes up simply click that and scroll down until you see the green button that says uh, well in this case show license agreement or it might say install on your screen click that and hit install restart Firefox and you're good to go okay so what makes RSS different when you're using Wiz? Wiz I think is going to be much more palatable for people who aren't so much into the online readers and here's why you simply click the left toolbar button here on the Wiz RSS toolbar that will appear after you install it and Wiz RSS appears as a sidebar in your Firefox, which is really convenient because it's just right at your hand. So basically, here's how you're going to use it. Um, regardless of which page you're on, let's head over to Tech Bytes as an example. And uh, all right, so you're at TechBytes.com, and you're viewing my latest stuff. Well, here's how you would view it through RSS. The benefit of RSS is that you don't have to come to my site anymore to find out if I've updated it. Instead, you'll know if I've updated it using the Wiz RSS. Now, on most sites, you'll find somewhere on their site that they have an RSS link, whether it says RSS or XML or feed. Usually, it's delineated by an orange icon like this, not always. And previously, you would have to click this and then select your reader and hit install. RSS with Wiz is simplified because anytime you see an RSS link to a certain web page, all you have to do is click and drag that item over into the Wiz RSS reader and it adds it as a feed. When you click that feed, you can see any items that you've viewed or you haven't seen yet. In this case, I've viewed most of these top ones. But let's say that the Yahoo Answers post was new to me. It's delineated by a green light. It tells me I have not read this yet. And I click it, and it'll instantly take me to that spot on the web so I can read the article. This is a great way to just have all the news that is important to you at your fingertips. So let's take another example. Let's go to Apple. Let's say you're following Apple. You like their stuff. You'd like to know when new things happen at Apple. Well, I can tell you right now that most websites have RSS feeds. It's just a matter of finding them. There's two ways that you can find RSS feeds with uh, Wiz RSS. You can either go looking for it in the actual website, or there's a button that you can click either here that says Feed Search, or you can click this button here. They're both the same button. And when you click it, it brings up an external box. This feed search will look at any page you're currently view, uh, viewing and try to serve up an RSS feed for that page, if they have it. It'll basically search through the page for you and find any RSS feeds that it has. In this case, there's just one feed. So if I wanted to subscribe to this feed, all I would do is click and drag that item right into our, the Wiz RSS reader. And there it is. Now I've got Apple News. I can click that and here's all the news for Apple. And Once again, all I have to do if I see something interesting is click the item and it'll take me there automatically. 
Okay, so let's stop and talk about the interface for just a second. As you can see, I've got a sidebar and I've got a top bar. You don't have to use both, you can use one or the other. I prefer to save the top of my screen um, up here. I don't like having too much stuff, too many toolbars on my browser. So what you can do is right click in any blank space in Firefox and look for the Wiz RSS toolbar. Simply click that and it'll be removed. Um, Obviously, you can add it the same way by right-clicking on Firefox and clicking it again. That'll add it back. Now, the next thing I'll do is right-click an empty space in Firefox and click Customize. And inside the Customize uh, screen, you'll notice there is a Wiz RSS button. Simply click that and drag it to any place on your Firefox that's comfortable for you and it'll add that icon to Firefox. Now you can click that little newspaper to add or remove the sidebar from your view. So let's do one more example here. Let's go to a news site like Reuters. Reuters is a great news site for finding out just about anything. They're very, very active. Now I'm going to look through their website again and as I peruse it once I get to the bottom, I'll see RSS. Now, once again, this is a very common way to see a feed delineated uh, on a website. Usually, this little orange box and the words RSS or XML. I simply click that, and that takes me to a page where they'll show me all the different feeds that they offer. Now, there's a lot here, and I'll let you uh, investigate those on your own time, but let's just say I was interested in technology video. If I wanted to add this to my feeds, all I have to do, just like before, is click and drag that item into Wiz RSS. And now I've got all of the latest news regarding technology um, from Reuters. So I simply click that, and I'm delivered to the page that has to do with that particular item. Very handy. All right, so one more thing. Okay, let's say that you are already using an RSS reader, like Google Reader or Bloglines or another desktop reader. Well, if you go into any one of those readers, you'll find there that either it's under File Export or it's under the Settings and Options menu or Managing Your Feeds. You can export all your feeds as one file called .opml. And once you have that file, you can import all of your feeds into any other service. So let's say you wanted to add them to Wiz. And I think you can only do this in the Wiz RSS reader if you bring up the toolbar. So let's go to Options, etc. And in here you'll see OPML Import. There's also Export if you'd like to move your stuff out of Wiz. Your feeds aren't stuck in there. So you click Import from a file. Choose the file from your computer, in my case it came from Google Reader, and hit open. Now when you look at your feeds, you'll have a new folder. Let me just drag this down for a second. Click the arrow next to the folder and all your feeds unfold. And all of the feeds you were browsing in your previous RSS reader are now available. So it's very easy to move over to RSS, um, to Wiz RSS, if that's where you'd like to be reading your feeds from now on. So that's it for today. Wiz RSS can do a lot. I just wanted to show this um, just to get you started. If you're somebody who's been struggling with RSS and you think you would do better with an RSS reader that was in your browser. So I'll leave the rest of the exploration up to you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a great day. This is Garrett from Tech Bytes. See ya.